Mark Oliver Gable. The Newark Star-Ledger says perhaps one of the most shining examples of the lifelong kinships between humans and their animal counterparts is Mark Oliver Gable. Drawing from the past and reaching toward the future, the astonishing Mark Oliver Gable has fashioned a fresh, new, and exciting approach to animal training. The past is his famous father, Gunther Gable Williams. Mark calls him the greatest animal trainer of all time. But for the future, Mark has established himself as his own man. Leading the new generation of trainers, he doesn't see tigers as bloodthirsty jungle cats. Instead, he sees them as fellow creatures. We work together because we feel very comfortable, and feeling comfortable is a big part of what we do for both the tigers and myself. I've been around these elephants all my life. I grew up around these guys. Uh, you know, they're one big family to me. The animals come first. Definitely, we give 100% to them every day, the care, the treatment, and everything possible to them. And that's what our goal is. That's, what we are. that's why we are here. That's why we do what we do. The best part about our job is getting to show everything that, we're, that we put into setting up the animals, walking the animals, working around the animals, and bring them into the show and seeing the smile on the kid's face is the best part of my job. I love it. You know, I was, I was, first of all, I was born and raised. I, I'm the only one that was born and raised here in Ringing Brothers Barn and Billy. Uh, I've been with this show, this unit, all of my life. It will be 29 years this year. And it's very unique for me to, to talk about that. It, this has been my home all my life, and my job, my, my schooling, my responsibilities, my fun, my, my whole life. As far back as I can remember, I've been around animals. I mean, I've seen elephants over my years now. I've grown up with them. They've seen me grow up, you know, and they're like my brothers, my sisters, my aunts, my uncles, because I've seen some of them grow up. With his father for a teacher, Mark easily became the head animal trainer at Ringling Brothers. All my life, ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to run away with the circus, and I finally got a chance to do just that. Meet Tonka. She's one of ten elephants at the circus trained by Mark Oliver Gable, son of perhaps the most famous animal trainer ever, Gunther Gable Williams. They obviously love you. Yes, they have a very close relationship. It's a relationship that started with learning to hold little things, like loaves of bread. Hold it. And then moved on to bigger tricks. Now you're going to take your leg, this part right here, and you're gonna put it right in her mouth, right here, okay? In her mouth? Yeah, hey, you ready? In her mouth? In her mouth. Oh my All goodness! Right. Hang back a little bit. That's right, the 8,800 pound gentle giant <laughs> bit down on my leg <laughs> and carried me. Quite a squeeze. Besides <laughs> elephants, Mark works with a huge menagerie of other animals. Hey, baby! I'm a little nervous, I gotta say. That's why you should be nervous. <laughs> Mark only works with tigers born in captivity, but even though Jasmine isn't full grown yet. Cora, you can touch her. I can touch her? She's still a real live man eating beast. Fangs, claws, and all. Yikes! Okay, you wanna try it? Come on. Are you kidding me? But listen, don't bring the meat back to you. She's no, gonna yeah, that's okay? probably a bad idea. Come here. Mark uses raw beef to train the tigers. All right, good girl. Like many of the folks here, Mark is married to another circus performer. His wife, Christina, works with horses. Hale, hale up! Okay, now we turn. Turn. Gee, that doesn't look too hard. They make it look simple. And if you think about it, these people are athletes that do these mind-blowing, life-threatening feats. Each one is individual and has their own personality and character, and you just have to uh, give them time. Some learn a little quicker than others. We have to really just uh, watch them and, and, and learn from them. Just take what we see that's inside of them and just enhance that and keep going forward with that behavior, and hopefully we can make something happen. What I look for is uh, basic behavior when they just uh, play with each other and they jump around or they roll around and, for example, Jasmine, she loves to jump, so uh, I encourage her to do that. Good girl, that's a good girl. And uh, Julie likes to do things on her hind legs, so I, I like to encourage that. Sit in, here, 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 Bob, sit in, sit in, Bob, sit in, sit in, Bob, sit in. And uh, Sultan likes to, to crawl and, and lay down and roll, so I'm working on some things with him on that, too. Wow, it's good, good, good. I am aware of everything that they do, and uh, they are dangerous. They are tigers, and you can't take that away from them. Uh, anything can happen anytime, and I'm aware of that, but I don't go in there frightened or nervous. It's a very similar as raising my kids. It's just uh, the way I speak with them the way I, I give them positive reinforcement when they're doing something good. All three of 
three boys, even the littlest one, they're in love with, with the elephants. And uh, what a couple of the baby come. Get some more food. There you go. Hi, Asia. Baby Bo. Come here. Come here. And of course, sometimes they want to go to tigers, but uh, those are off limits to them right now. So the elephants are really the only thing that they're allowed to go around and, uh, and be safe around. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm trying to get a job here. Could you maybe teach me how to train Ab a horse? Absolutely, you always need some help. Yay! Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> Just give it to him? Just give it to him. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All your fingers there. <laughs> when we get all of our animals, especially the tigers, uh, we just watch them and uh, watch them play and watch what they do. And if one likes to roll or one likes to jump, or we have to kind of go with that. We learn from their behaviors and then we try to encourage them to, into the performance. It's all positive reinforcement, repetition, and uh, definitely rewards. And just you know, just just keep uh, keep moving forward in that direction. It's definitely a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's uh, a lot of responsibility. You need to have a lot of patience. You need to have a lot of time and uh, you know, encourage the animal. Take a look at my day at the circus. I can't believe this is happening. As a little kid, I always wanted to run away to the circus, and now I'm finally here. This is Mark Oliver Gable. Hey, Mark. Uh, nice, Mark to you, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Well, we well, now, why is she doing that? She's that smelling like... it. She thinks either you have good breath or bad breath. I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. Let's try uh, sitting on the truck. Okay, okay, sit like on a get up. Pick it up. I'm falling. Pick <laughs> it up a little bit. Can I hold this part? Yeah, you're fine. Steady, hold it. Move up. Well, move up. She doesn't smell that great either. Move up. Steady. That's me. Woo! Woo! I was kidding. Head I was down. kidding. Head I was kidding. Head down. Head down. Well, oh, Meredith, I don't know if this is going to work out for you, but we got a bunch of other things that you're going to try out. All right. Well, I'm sorry, Asia. I did my best here. Oh, ow. So I, I've got a little videotape of you at the circus. Mm -hmm. So you mind if I show it? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, thank you very much, Stevie. Folks, Stevie at the circus. I'm going to see the animals, and it's going to be so exciting. Hi, little Stevie. My name is Mark. Hey, Mark. Can I see the animals? Sure. You want to see some elephants and tigers? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. I'm about to meet the tigers, but I'm a little scared. Want to go in there and play with them? Thanks, <laughs> Hey, let me ask you something. Have you ever watched the Wayne Brady show? Be fine. Have a good time. We'll see you later, all right? All right. Bye, Steve. But even the greatest animal trainer can have humble beginnings. Many years ago, I had a, a goat act. I had 10 goats. Don't laugh, okay? okay you have to start somewhere, okay? <laughs> I love that goat act. It's the best thing I ever did in my life. I mean, looking back now, thinking the things that I was doing with my dad, it was just, uh, I think, I guess those were the good times, you know? I mean, I can't say these are bad times, but I mean, just, just helping my dad is just, was a highlight of my life. No matter where I would be, I would be working with animals. It's a love that I have, a passion that I have of working with animals. It's, a, it's an incredible feeling to work with them, because whatever you give to them, you're going to get back twice as much.